वेलकम टू ऑल आई एम असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर कुटे अक्षदा फ्रॉम एस एन डी इंजिनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला टूडेज टॉपिक इज इंटरफरन्स इंटरफरन्स फिल्टर्स वर्क्स ऑन द इंटरफरन्स फेनोमेनम कॉजेस रिजेक्शन ऑफ अनवॉन्टेड वेबलेंथ बाय सिलेक्टिव रिफ्लेक्शन इट इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड बाय यूजिंग टू पैरल ग्लास प्लेट्स विच आर सिल्वर्ड इंटरनली एंड सेपरेटेड बाय थीन फिल्म ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिक मटेरियल ऑफ डिफरंट रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स दिस फिल्टर्स हैव अ बैंड पास ऑफ टेन टू फिफ्टीन नैनोमीटर विथ पिक ट्रांसमिटेंस ऑफ फोर्टी टू सिक्सटी परसेंटेज दीज आर द डायग्राम ऑफ सेमी रिफ्लेक्टिव कोटिंग्स मिरिट्स प्रोवाइड ग्रेटर ट्रांसमिटेंस एंड नैरोवर बैंड पास एज कंपेयर टू एब्जॉर्बशन फिल्टर इन एक्सपेन्सिव एडिशनल फिल्टर्स कैन बी यूज टू कट ऑफ अनडिजायर्ड वेवलेंथ नेक्स्ट प्रिजम प्रिजम इज मेड फ्रॉम ग्लास क्वार्स और फ्यूज सिलिका क्वार्स और फ्यूज सिलिका इज द चॉइस ऑफ मटेरियल ऑफ यू वी स्पेक्ट्रम वेन व्हाइट लाइट इज पास थ्रू ग्लास प्रिजम डिस्पर्जन ऑफ पॉलिक्रोमेटिक लाइट इन रेनबो ऑकर्स नाउ बाय रोटेशन ऑफ द प्रिजम डिफरेंट वेवलेंस ऑफ द स्पेक्ट्रम कैन बी मेड टू पास थ्रू इन एक एक्जिट स्लिट ऑन अ सैम्पल द इफेक्टिव वेवलेंट डिपेंड्स ऑन द डिस्पर्सिव पावर ऑफ प्रिजम मटेरियल एंड द ऑप्टिकल एंगल ऑफ द प्रिजम नेक्स्ट प्रिजम दिस इज अ स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ प्रिजम दिस प्रिजम लाइट पासेस थ्रू प्रिजम एंड देन सेविंग कलर्स आर एपियर देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ माउंटिंग इन एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट वन इज कॉल्ड कॉर्न्यू टाइप रिफ्रैक्टिव विच हैज एन ऑप्टिकल एंगल ऑफ सिक्सटी डिग्री एंड इट्स एडजस्टेड सच एज ऑन रोटेशन द इमर्जिंग लाइट इज अलाउड टू फॉल ऑन एक्जिट स्लिट द अदर टाइप इज कॉल्ड एज लिट्रो टाइप रिफ्लेक्टिव विच हैज ऑप्टिकल एंगल थर्टी डिग्री एंड इट्स वन सर्पेस इज एल्यूमनाइज विथ रिफ्लेक्टेड लाइट बैक टू पास थ्रू प्रिजम एंड टू इमर्ज ऑन द सेम साइड ऑफ लाइट सोर्स Gratings. Gratings are the most effective one in converting a polychromatic light of to monochromatic light. As a resolution of plus or minus 0.1 nanometer could be achieved by using gratings. They are commonly used in spectrophotometers. Gratings are of two types: diffraction grating and transmission gratings. Diffraction gratings. More refined dispersion of light is obtained by means of diffraction gratings. This consists of a large number of parallel lines, about one fifteen thousand to thirty thousand inches, is ruled on highly polished surface of aluminium. These gratings are replica made from master grating, coating the original master grating with a epoxy resin and are removed after setting. To make the surface reflective, a deposit of aluminium is made on the surface. in order to minimize to greater amounts of scattered radiation and appear are the blast to concentrate the radiation into a single order transmission grating it is a similar to diffraction grating but refraction takes place instead of reflection refraction produces reinforcement this occurs when radiation transmitted through grating reinforce with the partially reflected radiations advantages grating gives higher and linear dispersions compared to prism monochromator can be used over wide wavelength ranges gratings can be constructed with materials like aluminum which is resistant to atmospheric moisture provide light of narrow wavelength no loss of energy due to absorption these are the chart of the comparison prism and grating prism are made from glass and the gratings are made of polished surface like alumina working principles angle of incident in gratings law of diffraction sample holders the cells or cuvettes are used for handling liquid samples the cell may either be rectangular or cylindrical in nature for study in uv region the cells are prepared from quartz or fused silica whereas color corrected fused glass is used for visible region the surface of absorption cells must be kept scrupulously clean no fingerprints or blotches 
should be present on the cells cleaning is carried out washing with distilled water or with dilute alcohol or acetone these are the sample holder detectors device which converts light energy into electrical signals that are display on radio devices the transmitted radiation falls on the detector which determines the intensity of radiation absorbed by sample the following types of detectors are employed in instrumentation of absorption spectrophotometer barrier layer cell or photovoltaic cell phototubes or photoemissive tube photomultiplier tube requirements of an ideal detector it should give quantitative response it should have high sensitivity and low noise level it should have a short response time it should provide signal or response quantitative to wide spectrum of radiation receive barrier layer cell or photovoltaic cell the detector has a thin film metallic layer coated with silver or gold and attacks an electrode it is also has a metal base plate which act as another electrode these two layers are separated by a semiconductor layer of selenium when light radiation falls on selenium layer electrons become mobile and are taken up by transparent metal layer when it is co connected to galvanometer a flow of current observed which is proportional to the intensity and wavelength of light falling on it phototubes or photosyn photoemissive tubes phototubes these are the structure of phototubes phototubes consist of evacuated glass tube with photocathode and a collector anode the surface of photocathode is coated with a layer of elements like cesium silver oxide or mixture of them more sensitive compared to barrier layer cell and therefore widely used photomultiplier tubes the principal employ in this detector is that multiplication of photoelectrons by secondary emission of electrons in a vacuum tube a primary photocathode is fixed which receives radiation from the sample near the last di diode is fixed an anode or electron collector electrode photomultiplier is extremely sensitive to light and is best su suited where weaker or low radiation is received photomultiplier tubes thank you